Okay, I'm with uh, Joseph Brown here on the Obi SDK, which was just launched today. Uh, what's in an Obi SDK? How is it different from the previous SDKs that Nokia has had? The Obi SDK is designed to let you implement applications yeah. inside of Web Runtime on, on the mobile device that use our powerful map APIs and navigation APIs. So what we're releasing today is basically a way for developers to get started using our high-level APIs to make context to web applications. Uh, so it's, it's for maps only? Well, the idea is that the, the content is placed onto the map and you can switch between you know the content which is coming from your existing servers or from other providers, and then that's layering on top of the map. So it really is designed with a, with a location for this. Okay. Um, so if I would be, let's say, I'm a Symbian developer and I have some uh, S60 or Symbian SDKs mm -hmm. for an application, is it? Can I use these two in parallel, or how, do, how does it work? Yeah, right now, so the the, the real selling point of the OBSDK is that it's based on web technology, so you're going to be using HTML and JavaScript and CSS to create these applications. Um, that means also these apps are going to be running inside of the web runtime environment, so it's going to have the same things available to you as any other WRT application would have, but getting to those very low-level pieces and outside and the phone are going to be difficult. Alright, thank you.